Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for joining us this morning. And, boy, Middle Township girls lacrosse off to a hot start again this year. And let's start this conversation with going back to last year. You guys really put one heck of a run together, and you did it with a lot of young players. While well, a lot of those young players are back, you know, how excited were you coming off of last season's success to get rolling this season? Um, we were very excited. We still have those very good young players. However, we did lose 12 seniors. So last year we were a mix of those 12 seniors as well as the four freshmen that we started. So it is, um, even though we have those four freshmen back, it is um, quite a rebuilding year mixing in some new players along with them. Girls lacrosse in South Jersey, again, it's it's one of those sports that hasn't been around a long time. How have you been able to build there, you know, so fast and be so successful? How are the feeder programs helping you out? How's it all working there in Cape May Courthouse? Um, Avalon Lacrosse has been around for quite a while, um, and we've been getting, the, that's one of our big feeder programs, and we've been getting a lot of girls from there. Um Holly, who was uh, still involved in the program, um, does a great job. And um, we get a lot of girls from there, and they they have built our program to what it is. I want to talk about some of your special sophomores, I guess, now. They were freshmen last year, and Bridget Rusky yeah. at the top of that list, I believe she had, mm-hmm. uh, what, well over 50 goals last year. And, I mean, you know, for a player that young to already be so dominant at the high school level, how rare is that and how special a player is Rusky. She's a very special player. Actually, last year she was second in the state. She ended the season with 112 goals. I was way off then, um, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, she already has 20 goals this season, and yes, she is a very special player, and we're very lucky to have her. What's her background? I know you know she plays basketball as well, stand out on the floor there, and, and so many times for yep. a player to excel in one sport, you would see that player playing that sport year-round, but you know, for an athlete to play multiple store sports and still excel in one, obviously it speaks to, to her character and what kind of an athlete she is in general. Yeah, she's a great athlete. Um, she's a three varsity sport athlete. She plays soccer as well as basketball. And, um, yes, she's just very athletic, very talented, also a very coachable player. She's a really good kid. What about some of the other younger players you have, uh, you know, joining Rusky at that sophomore level? Uh, Jenna Hurley, Skyler, Genelini, Allison, Hunter. I mean, we're talking about key pieces of the team there as well. Yeah, all four of them. They are very coachable players, very talented players. Um, they are the core of our team. Um, they get everybody involved, and they're unselfish players. They really do make the team. Checking in right now with Jackie Scuderi, head coach of the Middle Township Girls Lacrosse team, as the Panthers are off to a hot start in the Cape Atlantic League. Is it a game day for you, Coach? It is. We are actually playing out of conference today. Uh, we're going down to Bishop Eustis, and it's showcase day. We are playing uh, West Dufford, which is going to be a very challenging game. They were actually the Group 2 state champions last year. Um, but in order to keep building the program, we need to start playing some of those teams out of conference that are more challenging in order to prepare ourselves for the playoffs. You always talk about a handful of teams being competitive in the Cal, certainly Millville, uh, Ocean City, Mainland, to name a few. There are some other programs, some newer programs that, you know, just aren't quite there yet. So you alluded to it there, but how much do events, do games like this help in terms of getting your girls ready for maybe those playoff opponents later in the season? Um, I think they're really important. Uh, Last year we had, you know, we were undefeated in the Cal. Um, We went to the second round of the playoffs and ended up losing in the second round. And so going into our schedule this year, we're trying to schedule some of those games in order to prepare us for the playoffs. The weather's been a topic we've talked about across the board, a number of sports. You know, how has the weather affected you? I know sometimes with lacrosse you can get away with playing when you can't in baseball or softball. But, you know, how has that affected your schedule, especially this past week? Um, It has affected our schedule. You know, we've been practicing inside a lot because we don't want to mess up the grass field. Um, Our game against Cedar Creek on Thursday was canceled because of the field conditions, even though it wasn't raining that day. um, It was poor field conditions, so we were unable to play. So that's another game that's going to have to be rescheduled. Um, We do play three games a week, so fitting in those games that are canceled is difficult at times. Um, so, yeah, the weather does play a major factor. Is it tough to keep the girls motivated, you know, sort of keep them focused when 
you're playing lacrosse inside when really it's meant to be played outside? It is. It's very difficult. Uh, you have to be creative with what you're doing with the girls because um, it can be a challenge. What are the goals this season? Obviously, you guys would like to reach that ultimate prize, but you talked about that early exit from the playoffs a year ago. Have you used that as motivation coming into the season and in the early parts of this season, or is that something you don't talk about? Um, we do talk about it, but however we do, I try and take one game at a time, especially this year. I know we talked about those uh, full sophomores, and it's awesome having them, but it is quite a rebuilding year as well, trying to get the rest of the team involved and getting them experience um, game to game. Checking in right now with Jackie Scuderi, head coach of the Middle Township girls lacrosse team. Game day for Middle Township later today as they play in a showcase tournament. And I, I know, no, Coach, numbers were pretty solid for you last year, and have the numbers gone down in terms of that graduating senior class and not as many freshmen stepping in? Yes, they actually have. Um, we are we have 25 girls on the whole team. So playing JV, I try and I want those girls to get as much experience as they can. However, sometimes JV games we're playing short. Um, so it is trying to rebuild those. Like I said, that's why I call it a rebuilding year, trying to get those numbers back up, um, getting more girls involved in the program again. Do you think that's a trend or just sort of a, an outlier, if you will? In those feeder programs, are they still loaded up with girls excited about lacrosse in that area? Yeah, they are. Um, however, like I said, with all the choice schools and you know, the girls having options to go other places, it can be difficult to keep them. You know, Hopefully, with having the successful season, season that we had last year and hopefully have another successful season this year, those girls will want to start coming back to Middle Township to play the sports at our school. Is it a good thing for the sport to see some some schools institute a girls lacrosse program? I believe, you know, Atlantic City, Holy Spirit, Cedar Creek, if not this year, all relatively new programs. And we talk about the level of play in the Cape Atlantic League needs to improve, needs to play catch up, if you will, Mm -hmm. some of the teams outside. But more teams playing, does that help the cause? Oh, I definitely think it helps the cause. It gets more girls involved. You know, there's Upper Township has a feeder program. Avalon has a feeder program. I believe Galloway, Upstecan area has a feeder program. Um, so there are more feeder programs in the area coming about, and I think having those high school teams um, have the program as well is definitely going to help this South Jersey area. You talk to basketball coaches, you know, they always like to see their players playing in the AAU circuits in the offseason, soccer, you know, similar deal, travel teams. Are, are there opportunities for the girls on your team to sort of take part and at least practice, if not play, in the off season? There are. There's. Um, we just started a Shore Devils program down here. There's also the Nor'easter travel program. So there are uh, programs down here as well for the girls to participate in and try out for and um, have more experience during the off season. You ran the table in the Cape Atlantic League a year ago. Obviously, you'd love to do the same this year. But, you know, in your mind, who are those true challenges coming up on your schedule? Not so much the non-conference showcase games, but, but the teams in the league. Um, definitely Ocean City. Um, we only play them once because of the expansion of our Cal Conference. We're split into two divisions now, and we only have those crossover games. So it seems like Ocean City, we only play once. Millville, we only play once. So they're going to be the games that are, are going to be a challenge, and kind of my motivation for those games to the girls is that we only play them one time. So this is our one chance to, to beat them. You mentioned maybe a rebuilding year for you in terms of numbers. I think some coaches would love to have some of the younger players you have in a rebuilding year. But but that said, you know, you're focused on this year. That goes without saying. But how excited are you to hopefully have a number of these girls for a few years to come? Oh, very excited. They're just a great group of girls to coach. Um, like I mentioned before, they're very coachable. They're very enthusiastic. Um, and they just really enjoy playing. All right, Jackie Scuderi, head coach of the Middle Township Panthers girls lacrosse team. Good luck to you and your team later today. Thanks for joining us on a game day, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you again later on this season. All right, thank you very much. All right, you got it. Jackie Scuderi, again, head coach of the Middle Township girls lacrosse program, certainly one of the top.